I think that is what is so exciting about this show because it really allows um it allows like us to kind of live in people who are versatile in their art because this is very much I think a versatile story inside a very black perspective. I went in completely blind, didn't see the trailer and was just uh, amazed. Um, so I was just so curious, uh, you know, where did the inspiration for this show come from? How, like, what was the starting point for you? Well, uh, it was Donald Glover's idea originally. He came to me with this story of what if we were to write a show about a woman, a Black woman obsessed with a with a pop star. And obviously, you know, Donald has his own experiences with being a star of music and having fans. And I've seen people take ownership of him in certain ways. And so, you know, we just kind of like, that was the kernel of the idea. And we, you know, we worked on it during the pandemic. So we were able to kind of sit with it for many, many months of just the two of us bouncing these ideas off. And so by the time we had a writer's room, we had like a very clear understanding of this this two and a half year period within the life of a Stan and and how she, her life in the pilot story and how that changes and then propels her into this, into this very kind of remarkable journey over two, after, <laughs> over two and a half years. Yeah. Does the, does the first season cover the uh, whole two and a half years or will that hopefully be told in future episodes. The first season is the the only season and it tells the story of two and a half years of her life. Yes. Okay. Well I'm I'm excited to see the full journey. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you're no stranger to, you know, working on um, you know, projects about the dark side of the industry. I loved your work on Unreal. I loved oh, thanks, Unreal. Yeah. Yeah. Great show. Was, so how did that kind of influence your approach here in terms of, you know, you're working within the music sector, but also you can, you've kind of seen this dark underbelly. Well, I think that's one of the reasons why I think my marriage with Donald and this story really worked out because I've been writing kind of these very like unconventional out of the box kind of dark characters for a while. And, and so it just, you know, it's, it's, it's really, I, I just, it felt kind of like a very, it just feels like a little bit like kismet. You know, I wrote on Atlanta for two years, but like my sensibilities as a storyteller, and I think um, Donald's sensibilities as a storyteller really kind of like folded into this story, I think in a pretty, remarkable way. And I do think, you know, we set out in very much like, like Atlanta where he set out to like write something that hasn't been on TV before. Like we very much like set out to write a, a tonal shift in terms of black storytelling with this one that kind of becomes its own genre in a way. And I think we're, we're really happy with Wow. Yeah. <laughs> My last question. Uh, I love that you have Chloe in the show. Yeah. It just gives form this fascinating yeah. meta narrative dynamic. Uh, how did that casting come about? Was that always the plan to get someone who was had two feet in both worlds or, yeah. or feet in both worlds? Excuse me. Yeah. There's a lot of multi hyphenates on this show, whether they be like musicians and actors, comedians and actors, you know, writer. D Dominique is a writer and an actress. You know, I think I think that is what is so exciting about this show because it really allows um, it allows like us to kind of live in people who are versatile in their art because this is very much I think a versatile story inside a very black perspective and so that has been in and Chloe was you know Carmen Cuba cast the show and I think she did a really great job and I think Chloe just like hits it she nails it she hits it out of the park well I cannot wait to see the rest I just want to thank you for your time today it was such a pleasure to speak with yeah, you of course. and um I loved the show it's, <laughs> thank it's, you so much it's brilliant <laughs> thank you